hey, this video has spoilers for Avengers Endgame, so if you haven't seen that, uh, don't watch this. Nothing makes me angrier than posting a video with spoilers without giving a spoiler warning. So, uh, as a matter of fact, here's one from Spider-Man Far From Home star Tom Holland. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. So let's take a look at the trailer and then we'll uh, talk about some of my thoughts and how it relates to Avengers Endgame. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. <laughs> You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. What? Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work. Because I am going on vacation. <laughs> Heads up, Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Answer the phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. Who could use someone like you on my world? New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. A snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do. You're coming with us. Maybe someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my God. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan. So, I like it. I lo really liked Spider-Man uh, Homecoming. I thought Michael Keaton was awesome as the Vulture. I think Jake Gyllenhaal looks really cool here as Mysterio. The thing is, if you know who Mysterio is from the comics, you can kind of guess the plot to this movie you can kind of guess that those big elemental creatures may or may not be real maybe they're an illusion maybe mysterio's got something some nefarious plan going on and is hoodwinking folks i don't know um i'll still watch it and enjoy it uh I, as to avengers endgame here's what i don't get spider-man died at the end of Infinity War or was snapped away by Thanos and was gone for five years. Now he seems to be back and he's all his high school friends are the same age as him. One, there's no difference between them. Two, they don't seem to have really aged five more years and neither does he. They're still in high school. So timeline-wise, it's a little fuzzy, but hey, when you're dealing with time travel movies, this is the kind of stuff you've got to be willing to deal with, right? Because time travel just doesn't really make a lot of sense and that's probably why it's not real but um that's a topic for another video so hey thanks for watching this video and if you liked it you might enjoy some of these other videos check out my stuff about comics and computers and life in general and thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and ring the bell if you're interested in getting notified when i make new videos thanks for watching